Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. It is August 14th. We had the Last Word podcast record this morning, so stay tuned for that one. If you aren't subbed to the channel, hit that sub button. You guys will see that podcast get uploaded a little bit later. But it is Zer Day. Zer is on Titan here on the rig. And let's go see what he's got for an inventory. So once you land at the rig location, easiest way, drive over here. Contact Pebble event might be going on, but you know, just dodge it. And he's always over here in his little office building. Drop down and do a quick U-turn. Let's see what he's got. Alright, so we do have the exotic engram. Remember, use this to complete your collection. If you are new and still trying to add stuff to your collection that you may not have. Or if you've got plenty of shards like I do, you can always dump 97 in. See if you get an exotic that's helpful. And it's always got a chance at a pretty good stat roll as well. Let's see what he's selling this week. For the weapon, we've got Graviton Lance. I've got a soft spot for this one. Uh, it's kind of had some ups and downs over time. The Catalyst actually is a pretty one, good one to get. I think I need to finish the Catalyst on it. But the perk here is Black Hole. Second shot uh, of a burst rips a hole through space-time, doing high damage and recoil with no fall-off. So the nice thing about this itself is what it will do is it's a two-shot burst, but its damage is uh, pretty solid on that second shot, so that is the important shot to hit. Uh, if you hit the first one and miss the second, it's pretty much you may as well not shoot this gun. Uh, but it does have really high damage, no fall off, and it does a really cool thing because kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that track targets. Cosmology got a buff at some point, and if you can get a, a group of enemies kind of grouped up or you're working on void kills with something, for example... Consider this one. It's actually a really fun weapon to use, good for killing ads, and when that, when that cosmology starts to, like, chain to other things. If you guys have used um, Code of the Commander on the Titan, that middle tree void subclass, uh, you're going to see a lot of explosions in a similar way. So it's a very cool pulse rifle, got a lot of range on it, very stable, very solid to use. If you don't have it, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't used it in a while, maybe pick one up and experiment, see if you enjoy it. Overall, definitely one you want to have in your collection, because there is a time where this thing definitely could be very, very cool. For the Hunters, we've got the Ophidia Spath. Now, this one is a chest armor, um, and perk is pretty straightforward. We've got Grant's two knives per charge. That's it. So, for the Solar subclass, when you have your throwing knives, you now have two. Now, it may count for both the heavy throwing knife and the other throwing knives, but you get two knives per charge, pretty much for your Solar subclass. And for stats, we've got 18 in strength. So, this is based on your melee, and you have an 18 strength roll, and 65 total stats. Decent amount of recovery, decent discipline, resilience is okay, mobility is not the best. This is not going to help you in the intellect department, but if you got a heavy strength roll, something based on a melee ability, this one is pretty damn good. Like, a good stat roll for the perk you're going to try and get a benefit out of the exotic. This is a pretty good synergy on this one, so if you enjoy hunters and you like throwing knives, this may be, may be one to consider, and especially the stat roll as well. For the Titans, the good old Mark 44 stand asides. They've been around for a while. Perk is seriously, watch out. Grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with Seismic Strike, Hammer Strike, and Shield Bash. Basically any of the shoulder charge abilities. So when you're at full health, you get an overshield while you're running around. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. Now, if you're in PvP and you run around with these and you shoulder charge, you likely can almost refill your shoulder charge just by killing a Guardian. So you can shoulder charge a lot. So if you like shoulder charging as a Titan and you're one of those, and trust me, I'm a Titan, I don't hold it against you. Other classes may, but that's up to them. This is a fun one, one to run with. If you're a run around shotgun shoulder charger, that's your jam, and you haven't tried these before, I would be surprised. Stat roll here. Resilience is low. You might want to make up for that in PvP somewhere else because you don't want your resilience too bottomed out. But you do have strength at 13, which definitely goes along with your... Melee ability, always a good thing. A lot of recovery, which can be good for PvP. Decent discipline, low intellect. Uh, the low resilience you might want to kind of flesh out somewhere else because you don't want to be completely squishy as you run around. But still, decent strength roll of 13 paired with melee abilities. Again, nice perk and stat synergy here. Uh, two for two so far. Let's see what the last one's got. All right, well, I think Warlocks did get the short end of the stick this week. You've got Skull of Dire Ahamkara. Used to be fantastic because you could throw a Nova Bomb, and the perk here is provides additional damage resistance during Nova Bomb, so you're harder to kill while you cast it, which it's a short-lived thing, so that's not that big of a deal. Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy. Now, you used to, with a big enough group, almost be able to get your Nova Bomb back, and to a point it was almost broken. Now, if you hit like a big group of enemies with your Nova Bomb, 
uh, you you can cap out at half of your energy return. So overall, it's not as powerful as it was. I don't know if people still use this one specifically, but I think it's uh, kind of been nerfed a little bit into the ground. So I don't know if this is one you need to for sure buy. If you don't have it, you may as well add it to your collection. Still not a bad thing to have if you're going through like an activity with a lot of Nova Bombs. But other than that, I don't know if this is like top in any metas. Somebody in the comments, please let me know if I'm wrong. And a combination with that, stat roll. This is based on your Nova Bomb and nothing else. So it's all about your intellect and you have an intellect of six. It's the second lowest stat roll on this entire thing. You got mobility at like 14, recovery and discipline, which are not a bad thing to have, strength at nine, but intellect at six. And it's just a 60. I mean, the other two were 65 and 64. I will say Warlock's got the short end of the stick this week, so I'm sorry, guys. If you don't have this, I would buy it for cheap, just because if you're trying to complete your collection, adding it to your collections when it's at least only 23 shards instead of 97 is the way to go. But when you come back out here, that's what I was saying. If you don't have this and you want to get something else as a Warlock, buy this here first for 23 shards if you've got them to spare. Then when you spend the 97, you won't actually get a Skull of Diorahom car that you spend extra for. But again, I think the Warlocks got a little little hosed, but either of these two classes, if you like these two ideas of throwing knives or shoulder charging, they're set up pretty well. Graviton Lance, just a very fun weapon to use overall. That's basically all I've got this week for Xur. Uh, as I said, we recorded the last word this morning with Robotikati, and she is a really awesome streamer, really good PvE helper. Uh, it was a great chat this morning. We ended up going long, still always fun. And of course, for me, uh, you guys know I'll be streaming, whether it's Solstice, Ghost of Tsushima, I might try the Avengers beta this weekend. I will be streaming a decent amount, so come check out the channel, twitch.tv slash Ebontis. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, under Ebontis, and right here on the channel, as I said, we are not that far away from 50k. Last week, we are less than 200 away right now, so if you haven't subbed to the channel before, please hit that sub button and the alert bell. See how close we can get to 50k. I'd love to give you guys a thank you, big thank you next week. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like below. If you have a comment, any thoughts about Xur this week or Solstice as well, comment below. Thank you guys very much. I got a couple guides out there if you're working on upgrading your armor. A couple tips out there as well for you. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.